In this video, we're going to look at coding standards and how using them makes your code easier to read, therefore making it easier to debug and maintain. Let's start with this example. At first glance, it's hard to see what this code is doing. This is still valid PHP code, however, PHP is very forgiving with layout. You can put spaces and new line characters wherever you like, indent code however you like, and so on. This code is a mess. The PHP standards recommendations, or PSRs, are coding guidelines that aim to standardize how PHP programmers write code. The basic coding standard and the extended coding style guide contain a list of rules of how to format PHP code. So let's refactor this code based on those guidelines. First, let's make a copy of this file so we can compare the before and after. We'll start with the PHP opening tag. This short tag isn't guaranteed to be supported, so it's safer to use the long one. Then we have the namespace and class declaration on the same line. Let's put these on separate lines and also remove this unnecessary white space between the class keyword and the name of the class. We'll also move the class's opening curly brace onto a new line. This makes it easier to see the contents of the class, its properties and methods. Then we have a property which, as it's inside the class, will indent. The standard is to use four spaces. Then we have a constructor method, which will also indent to the same level. The default visibility is public, but it's good practice to declare it, so we'll add that. Then let's get rid of these unnecessary spaces around the method argument. We'll also move the method's opening curly brace onto a new line. The content of this method is indented, but only by one space. So let's change that to four. We'll also add a space either side of this assignment operator. Let's move on to the next method. We'll indent it by four spaces and remove the unnecessary white space between the visibility declaration, the function keyword and the function name. There's also some white space between the method's argument parentheses and it's clearer with none, so we'll remove that entirely. As above, let's put the opening curly brace on a new line, making sure it's indented. Then let's remove this blank line, and then we have an if statement, which first will indent, and remove the white space from inside the brackets. The standard recommends a space before the if condition though, so let's add one. It also recommends putting PHP keywords in lowercase. So let's change if to lowercase and also null. As for the opening curly brace, the recommendation is to put this on the same line as the if statement. This makes it easier to differentiate method declarations from their content. Then let's indent this return statement, and as this is also a keyword, let's make it lowercase. Next, we have an else if, which in PHP you can write as one or two words. The standard is to use one word though, so that all keywords look like one word. So we'll change that. We'll also put the closing and opening curly braces on the same line and indent the else if block. Making sure the contents of the block are indented the same as well. Finally, we have a method call which we'll indent and separate the method arguments with spaces. This is so they're easier to see. We'll indent the final closing brace, and that's it. 
much clearer and easier to read. This is the original code, which was a mess, and now it's much easier to understand at first glance what the code is doing. We have a class with one property and two methods and so on. If you're familiar with the coding standards, it's unlikely that you'd have to refactor your own code like that, as you'd probably write it properly in the first place. However, if you're working on some badly formatted code like this, it can help enormously to refactor it as we just did. We just refactored it manually, however, there are many tools available that will do this for you. A popular tool is the PHP Coding Standards Fixer. This is a command line tool that will apply the PSR coding standards to your code, refactoring it automatically. It's free, easy to use, and highly configurable. You might even have it available directly in your code editor. Check out the documentation here for more details. Let's run PHP CS Fixer on this original messy code. Before we do that, let's make another copy of this file, as the tool makes the changes to the original file. On the command line, let's run the tool, passing in the name of the file we want to fix, and the verbose flag, so that we can see exactly what it's changed. When we run that, we get a list of the rules that have been applied. These rules are described in detail in the documentation, referencing the relevant PSR where necessary. The output of running PHP CS Fixer on this code is pretty much identical to what we did manually. So sticking to coding standards is highly recommended. It makes your code easier to read, both for others and for yourself, making it easier to debug and maintain.